Um. Um. Um, question? Is this supposed to happen? What? What? Am I in water now? Don't do that. Weird floor. Anyway. Welcome back to a little thing I like to call the game of being a cool person. Subnautica. Uh, this time... Oh, snap. This time we are doing... Things. And let me tell you what things. Well, first of all, I'm actually... Wait, let me check my inventory. Okay, ah, uh, my fish. I'm gonna go take apart my old base down here. Because I don't need it. I, I, I need the resources more than I need the, the this base. So I'm gonna pick apart everything that we've struggled so hard building down here. And it's gonna be sad, but it's gonna turn out all right in the end. Don't you even worry one second. Well, you can worry for one second, but then you gotta stop worrying. Because we have stuff to do, you know? This time, we need to go all the way. All the way over to places where we don't necessarily want to be, but we need to be. For the future of society. Well, mainly for the future of me. Society, I don't think, cares a lot. Well, maybe they do. Maybe it's like the, the Mark Watney sitch, you know? Maybe I'm w Mark Watney now. Am I Mark Watney? I'm Mark Watney! Aw, oh, yeah, shit. This is cool now. Well, it's it was cool before, but it's even cooler. Uh-oh. Uh, so let's me, le let's me? Let me do all these things. No! I was just saying let me do all these things. I don't want NASA to have to freak out. I don't want my parents to, you know, worry too much about me. I'm like, I'm like Castaway and, and Mark Watney all at the same time because it's ocean, but it's a planet and it's space, but it's wet. Shit, look at all these raw. Can I not? Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, fair enough. I'll make a couple of these up here. Mostly because I'm running out of space, and I'm also gathering a hell of a lot of <laughs> titanium that I don't really know what to do with or where to put. For smackers. And even better, I can name these lockers. Shit. Yeah. I'm not, I'm probably not gonna, because they're very temporary, but still, I could. If I so. Fish, you go in there. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I'm out, baby. Wait. I'm not out, baby. How many spaces are left? <gasps> Pow. I'm up, baby. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production. Yeah. Offline. That'll happen. Don't worry, though. For some reason, you can still... Oh. For some reason, you still have enough power to tell me those things, though. What, is, what did you get that power from, eh? Hey? Oh, 0 0.6. Can I, like, smash my base and just... <laughs> let's just sink it? That'd be fun. No, let's not do that. Let's deconstruct it. Get all our important shit. I'm gonna need all... Uh, I'm sad. I'm glad again. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm gonna need all this shit anyway when I get back home because I need to build the whole entire spaceship. So that'll be fun. <sighs> Alright. You know what? Cameras, you're kind of annoying. I'm gonna, I might just turn you off on my thing. I'll turn camera three off. Camera four is my waypoint-ish. So I'll just do that. Ooh, also, uh, I just want to mention, I'm uh, <laughs> ugly. Usually I record this game with shadow play, but currently I'm recording with OBS for no reason other than I want to try it. Uh, so in case there is any sort of lag, well, so far so good, but in case there is any lag, that's why, and I apologize profu profusely. Cool. Let's eat some of this shit, and let's replant some of this shit as well. Huzzah! I'm good! Let's go on a journey. Actually, let's save. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, uh, should we turn off the lights? Oops. And be like super stealthy, incognito mode, man? Yes. Engine powering up. Hell yeah, they are. Uh, cool. Well then. Suddenly I'm 
way more uncomfortable and don't feel prepared at all. But what are you gonna do, eh? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna honk? Yeah, apparently. Uh, what is that in the caves that's making that noise? What if there's one other survivor that I just... We just sort of like passed, accidentally passed each other this whole time. And there's actually another survivor. And then they just hear that inside these caves. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That'd be amazing. That'd be hilarious. No, it wouldn't be hilarious. I'm sorry. It's just a prank, bro. Ugh. I hate saying bro. You know why I hate bro as a word in general? Because it sounds like, it sounds so douchey. You can't say bro and not, not sound like a douche, can you? Right? Just me? Anyway. I just feel like it's such a, such a like, yeah, I, I, I need to show appreciation for you, but I also need to make sure that it's in no way, in no shape or form, any sort of sexual uh, uh, tension between us, because, uh, you know, I don't want to come off as, why is it so dark? Where's all the lava at? Oops! I can't, I don't even know where I'm... Am I going the... Is this not correct? Hello? I feel like there should be lava down here, here. Lava? Where all the lava at? Did I? Is the world broken? Mom? Hello? Have you seen lava? Jum, 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 jum. Okay, we should be, should be good. I think that the 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 shield thing, if you if you if you boop that, in just in case there's any like uh, any any power power vaginas on your boat, the shield sort of like knocks them off. Why? Honestly, why is it so dark? Look, I'm I mean I'm in here now. I'm in the lava world. Why is it like... Oh. It's getting better. Why was it pitch black? Do I have like tinted windows and I don't even know it? <laughs> what the hell? That was weird. Anyway. Beep beep. Here I come. Here I'm like a Thomas the Tank Engine, aren't I? But, but not so much a tank engine. Thomas the... Wet? Wet lad? Because I have like a... <laughs> Technically I'm the face on the front, aren't I? No? Kind of fun. We need to go even deeper. I, I don't really know wha where this hole is that we need to go. I think if you follow the edges, you'll end up at it at some point. Preferably without running into Mr. Scream, Scream a lot. Uh, Scream, Screamer Joe, who is some where. I'm not, I'm just passing through, okay? Oh, is this it? This looks kind of holy, doesn't it? Kind of hard to tell. Wait, to go. Is this a hole enough? Is this hole enough? No, nah, that's just a little divot. Get out of here, stupid! Get a job. Eat a tuna. Stop shouting. I'll do this just in case. Wow, 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 wow. I should be getting power. Yes. I should be getting power down here, right? Because of the, the power, thing I have now. Shut up. What's it called? Thermal generator? Yeah, dude. Is this it? Did you point the way, Mr. Shout- Chatter? Can I go here? Where is this? Do you know? Shout man. Ooh, here we go. Are you going down as well? You coming with? Dude, that's crazy. I'm- I was just going this way. <laughs> this is awkward. Oh no, it's like, you know, when you're- when you're going the same direction as someone else, when you think you're leaving. I was like, oh you're- oh. Oh, you're going this way to- oh. Oh, that's- hello! Beep beep! Oh, that's awkward. You know? Whee! Oops! Oh no, could you- listen. This is just- well, this is awkward. Are, you can swim down here? Wait, oops. How do I actually like? I just need to check. I feel like I'm slanted, you know? <laughs> no? Just me? Let's put the shields on. It's too scary. Ah, 
Why? You're not allowed to do that, are you? How can you- how can you slap? How can you do these things? You're not allowed to go through walls. Man. Hacks. I'm calling hacks. You know? This is my- my issue with- with you currently. Don't even. Don't even trip, dog. I got shields. You can't do shit to me. Or can you? I'm actually not sure. Hey, go check on your buddy instead. <laughs> what the hell? Why? Turn the shields off. Hey, we did it! It was a bit of a bumpy ride, no. Bit of a- oh. Yes, up. I am what you seek. Want to help you. Oh, cool. Okay, sweet. I'm coming. Don't worry, Bo. I'll be right with you. Uh, in unless I, you know, blow up or, or something. I'm gonna turn the shields on because I'm scared. I don't appreciate being bumped around like that. Okay. Get out of here. Stupid power vagina. No! Not for me. Okay. Let's just park it out here, you know? Just like, nice and easy. Thomas Sneezy. Okay, down we go. Just right outside the gates. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll, we'll turn that on, I mean off, Engine turn the engines off, down. and, and we should be, oh, it's so green now. Is that cool? Am I okay here? Are you gonna like, do you know I'm a thing? You know, in case, just in case he knows I'm a thing, I'm just gonna bail. <laughs> Can I do that? Uh, let's see, what do you have? No, 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 no. What do you have? Do you have the blue things? Yes. Well, all right then. Uh... I'm gonna have a snack. Yeah, I know, you're jealous because you want a snack as well. I'm gonna save, because I'm scared. And... Open! And, oh no, you're off center again. It's fine, though. I'm not gonna judge you. Let's go. Smackers. Peace, homie! I'm leaving ya! I'm going in here, boyo! Don't even think about it. Don't steal my ship. Oh, shit, it's like parking in a bad neighborhood, isn't it? What do you need? Do you need something special? Blue. Okay, cool. I have that. Look at him go. Arr, Tom, I'm scary. Arr. Don't even. Don't mess with me. I'll slap you. I'm, I'm, I'm not scared. Slap you good. Leave Ricky Martin alone. Ah, anyway, we did it. We're in. Like a hacker with the voice. I done it. Hello. It's me. Whoa, whoa. Aw, oh, that's cool. Translating local alien broadcast. Broad. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Temporary project huh. terminated. Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Well, I'm not gonna do that though. I just got here. I'm not gonna evacuate already. What is in here? Oh no, it's the baby! Oh no, look. Hello. Aw, cheer up. I'll scan you. How's how's it going in there? Oh yeah, I got a bunch of ta uh, tablet tablets. I got a bunch of datas last time that I forgot to read as well. Let's just check th th through this thing. Sea Emperor Fetus. Found preserved in a display case. It was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Physiology. Superficial damage to the specimen. Artificial removed in the display casing. Um. Questions? Okay, he's gone. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, stunt tissue development suggests organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. Appears the aliens were ex attempting to formulate a cure. Well, the doy son. Oh yeah, more, more things. So, basically they just did a C-section and it failed because they wanted the vaccine. What is this? Flotation devices failed. Oh, yeah. 
We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. So that was the ooh, ooh, ooh. So that was the thing I found when I was when I was tracking about the pod in the in the deep place. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just scoot around a little bit and then we'll check on this this other thing. Uh, where wha, what was it? Sea Emperor egg casing. Okay, so that was just the the shell they took the the kid out of. Oh, the kid. It sounds worse when you say it like that. See, what is this? Oh, the tree! Oh, yeah! A vast tree encountered in a deep cove and only one of its kind encountered on the planet. Well, I mean, I haven't scanned every tree on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. Bark. A hardy, fast-growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Much like bark usually do on trees. <laughs> Minuscule organisms inhabited the notches on the surface. Ghost Leviathan eggs. The tree branches. Trees branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated Ghost Leviathan. The tree appears to be nesting grounds. Cool. Hello. Beep boop boop. Oh no, I can't beep boop boop when I'm in the big man. Beep. Okay. Integrating uh, new PDA data. Yes. Enzyme 42, project data. According to the translated data logs, the indigenous Leviathan species found was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Hulk's disease uh, in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built in a uh, purpose-built habitat for further study. Alien researchers went to great lengths to prove that the needs of the warp gate and deteriorated. The quarantines of forest fields to seal the seals the vaccine has been unsuccessful. Aw, Lockhart, ain't that a Ain't that a shame, isn't it? Whee! Curse Matt. Should I just- I'm just gonna leave you here. You're too annoying. You're too bulky. <laughs> you make too much noise. I feel rude, you know? What if someone is asleep around here? Just stomping around. And I'm, a ge I'm a guest and I didn't even knock. Oh, yeah! Okay, so I- uh, well. Kinda need you, Lockhart. I'm coming back. Let's, uh, get some crystals, I suppose, to start up all these warp gates. Do I want to scan all these things? I'll just do it. I'm not going to read them all now, but we could potentially do that later or, or something. None of these have, like, crucial information anyway. They're, like, basically uh, little tidbits of just fun trivia and, and stuff about the planet. Captain America's shield. Ooh. Oh yeah, the yin yang way wing wing into thing. So we have Captain America, and we have Kung Fu Panda, and we have pirates. What does this mean? It's a it's a clue to the true origin of the aliens. They were movie fans. Could you sit down? How am I supposed to get in you, eh? I've done it. Let's go drill some of this and start up all the gate ga 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 gates. Oh wait, I don't have a- ah! Why? Oh, it went down. That was weird, I thought I went up for some reason. <laughs> Let's put your arm on though. Do -do -do. How am I- oh. You don't mind, right, if I borrow some, right? I'll just- I'll just be a minute. Oh shit. Do the thing! Do the cool thing! Do it! Whoa. It's making more. It's an ion cube fabricator. Or, alternatively, it's the thing from from Independence Day that blows up the Empire State Building. Hello, Warp Gate. I come to turn you on. Yes. Yes, are you turned on? Ooh, <laughs> spicy. Do do do. Oh. Wait, this isn't a warp room. What is this? 
This room oh. appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Whoa! The egg suit lady, she was voice activated. Can I scan all of them? Aw. Can I take all of them? Aw. I want to grow them at home. Aw. Ew. Okay, at least we can boot this computer a little bit. Boop. Okay, what is this? Whoa, look at all this stuff I have now. Uh, cool. Sea Emperor Leviathan research data. Specimen size, size categories have been adjusted upwards to accommodate the species. Okay. Feeding and digestion. Alien research data indicates this that despise, despite its size, this species feeds entirely on microorganisms. It filters from the water like a whale, which themselves de which themselves okay the microorganisms depend on a complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life reproduction large ovary like organs are carried in the creature's middle section suggesting that like other species on this planet it produces eggs however internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility ah enzyme 42 the emperor manufactures enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food and will wait the break down the microorganisms? Yeah, that's a hell of a job, isn't it? They're mostly broken down already. And will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium, and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on this planet survived the outbreak. It would remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Well, I'm, I'll get to that. Health. <laughs> should I just do should do this whole thing as like a, a Richard Attenborough? Health Comparative analysis of the size and metabolic rates indicate that the specimen was captured by the researchers was approximately one thousand six hundred years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggests it had lived well in excess of its peak lifespan for its species. Assessment while a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, it is unlikely any research subjects survive quarantine procedures. Oh, that's sad. They killed them! They killed them all! <laughs> I scan this all. There's so many cool things I just wanna wall. That wouldn't even fit my dad take up my whole inventory. Some of these eggs, man, they look really, like, painful to, to deliver. No? I mean, just... Personally, I wouldn't... I wouldn't want to deliver somebody. Just saying. Some of them, yeah, I could see that. Some of them, you know... Some of them seem... Kind of... Whoa! That one's all squishy up there. Oh, you have a little... Oh, you're weirdly see-through. Strange. Cool. Uh, well, that was a, 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 a place to be at. Uh, I'm gonna just get out of here before uh, someone finds me snooping around their eggs. This is gonna be a bit weird. Oh! I saw that, Lockhart. <laughs> what the hell? You doing lunges over there? I guess that's good. Stay in shape somehow. I'll be back in a minute. What's up, baby? Let me turn you on with insert one of my crystals. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, hey Lockhart, how's it going? Let me just well, pop back in. Captain. Thank you. Uh, we need to drill some more of this. Are you up for it? Yeah, he's up for it. And you get an ion cube. You get an ion cube. Everybody gets an ion cube. Wow, 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 wow. Sweet. Time to break some legs. Oh. Uh. Wait, what's in here then? This is straight across from the. Whoa. Oh. Oh look, it's the peeper pipes! Yeah! Hello! I've seen you! It's the shiny peeper pipes! Let's read this shit. Uh huh. Ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled, independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Inflow. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility. 
while microorganisms and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Outflow. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Cool. Can I scan this? Scan, scan. So this is the ins and outs of all the uh, the peeper pipes, the ventilation system bits that we've seen outside, walking around, or sw I guess swimming around. Where's the down? Whoa! Outflow pipe. I want to go down and see the whole thing. Whoa. That's cool. I <laughs> don't know why it needs to go in a spiral like that, but you know. Uh, artif- Oh, I have so many of these now. Peepers entering the containment facility. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fish show no sign of distress. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter. Ooh. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Aww. That's sad. That was a roller coaster. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment. Oh yeah, okay, so the outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back. These are the, the shiny peepers that we've seen around. Specimens show no symptoms of, of infection. All specimens are scanned. All specimens scanned are carrying enzyme 42. Ooh. Specimen stomach cavities are otherwise empty. Huh. Assessments if people have evolved if people have evolved to distribute the enzyme with, via the pipe network, this may explain part of the mechanism by which life on 4546B has survived since the bacterial outbreak. So the peepers are doing a hell of a good job. Basically the peepers are keeping everything alive. The whole planet is alive thanks to peepers swimming in and out of these things. Otherwise, it would just be barren, uh, and probably this whole place would be dead, since it's sort of relying on nutrients and stuff being pumped in from, from outside. If all of outside would have died, then there would be no nutrients to pump in, and all of inside would have died as well. So basically, peepers are saving the, the planet. <laughs> it's cool. Alright, so we know a lot. But not enough. I'm gonna go start up the final warp gate, and then we're heading in. I have arrived. Boop. Big ol' hole. It's right there. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, what should do it then? Let's break our legs one last time, for good measure. And head on over to, uh, to this, to this lovely place over here. This is a blue one, right? Yes, my final, my final blue. I don't need more, do I? No, I don't. Sweet Lockhart, we are doing it. We're going on an adventure, man. Come with me. Oh, yeah. The time has come to clump our way sl slightly clumsily over this way. Ricky Martin, you keep an eye on things, all right? I'm going in. Plan. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Hi. So are you here to play? Yes. Others came here once. They built these walls. How rude. They played alone. Ah. Oh. They bored me. I get that. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Dude, I'm just going wherever the hell things happen. Pretty. <laughs> so, this is the final place, the place we need to be, the place where we get cured of all of our troubles and woes. And also the place where she's been for like a thousand years. Poor lady. Whoa, 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 wee! You're huge! Detecting unusual ah. passive behavioral oh. patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Oh, okay. Why were you in such a hurry to say that? Reason unknown. So everyone here is just chill. 
Man, can I make a base in here? Can I make a base in here? That would be awesome. <laughs> no. Uh, however, I feel a little bit bad. Wait, do I have more? Yes. I feel a little bit bad at the same time because I'm probably gonna have to eat some of you. Oops. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Ooh -ha. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna activate this. This is basically just a portal that takes me back upstairs where I just was before I jumped into this pool. Uh, I'm just gonna activate it just to have it. It's an easy... Aw, you look so adorable when you sit down. It's just an easy, easier access. Maybe I should actually pop out to Ricky Martin and, and have a snack. Should I do that before we actually... I don't want to die. I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll cut it. I just suddenly got paranoid about my water levels. I need to go back and eat. Luckily, I just parked right outside. So it's no problem. Hello! Hit. I'm just popping in for a quick snack. Ah, oh, ha, ha. Ooh, that's the stuff right there. See you later, angry man. Yeah, I know. I have returned to these these waters with a full belly and a full full bladder. Yes. Well, more or less. Uh so, let's explore this place then. This place is super cool. How I want to know I want to know how they went about making this, because how do you even get this down here and in here and build this and all this in lava? <laughs> it seems cumbersome is all I'm saying, you know? I feel like there could have been better places to do this at. Anyway, let's peep this joint. Oh, I need a crystal. I have a crystal. Bingo. Whoa. I did it. I, di I started. My young need to hatch. I know. To play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. Ah. If you help us, ah. I will give you freely what the others try in vain to take. Cool. Thanks. Oh, she's waving it, waving it as well. Oh, but I don't have any more crystals. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life wow. form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. I had to take a picture of you. I hope you don't mind. But you're just too cool. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pop out and get a... Get a crystal. There's one up just up there. Wait, this is such a cool angle though. Look at this. I need to find like a picture frame and put this up in my base. Peeper! Sh shiny peeper! I need to put that in my tank at home. I just... Hopefully it won't die. Dude. Do 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 whoa 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 boy. Thank you. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Yeah, right. Explanation unclear at this time. It's like man-made, I guess alien made. It's like an it's like a technically it's like a big aquarium, really. They just put all the stuff that she needs in here so she so she could thrive. And just have a grand old time. Wow. Careful. A final turn on. Yes. Did you like that? With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. Yes, yeah, sure. But first they must feel the time is right. And break free of their shells. Make an alarm clock. Got it. This is what the others could not force from me. Alarm clock? To you, I give the secret willingly. Alarm clock blueprints. Oh no, hatching enzymes. Of course. Now I have them. Right? <gasps> yes. Cool. Okay, so. Oh. oh, oh. 
The Sea Emperor's Life Cycle. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the Sea Emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallow war waters. Family size would strictly lim would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off, split off at a younger age from the, to form their own herds elsewhere. Given the spa's population, mating and egg-laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg-laying. In fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those cal conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction, introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rates. This symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms, which learned to keep the Emperor alive, survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter around the Emperor's location. Well, that's just kind of sad. So basically what I said, like all of them just died because, well, ma mainly the disease, but also lack of food. Sad. Well, anyway, thanks for the enzymes. I'll just be on my way, shall I? Uh, so, okay. Technically now, I need all these things, right? I need an eye stalk, a sea crown, a fungal sample, ghost weed and a bull bush and one of all of those warp gates that I just opened outside those four gates all of them lead to one of these things so one one warp gate would lead to eye stalk one would lead to fungal sample one would lead to ghost weed and one would lead to bull bush and then the sea crown seed is found in here uh, in like little caves underneath this uh, aquarium thing. There's like little, little holes and little, little cavernous bits you can go under to find sea crowning. So all of them are fairly easily accessible, which is a cool way of doing it. I, I like that, uh, but I also have those things at home. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sort of like pop back and pick these things up. Ah, hello, I'm back. And now it just plonks me down right outside the gun. The big place. From the beginning. Uh, most of these things I have at home. I have, I think I have everything except for the fungal sample. Because I don't think you can get the fungal sample as a pick upable. I think it's, well, you can pick it up, but I don't think you can plant it yourself. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna finally get around to doing, making the aquarium, <laughs> the alien containment unit. And, and so I can have fish friends. So, um, I mean, she's, she's been waiting for a thousand years, you know, I think she can, she can hold out for a couple of days more. After I'm done down there, I'm gonna have to <laughs> sort of try to nestle Ricky Martin out of there so I can bring the Cyclops back home with me. Which is going to be a, a whole adventure of its own, I feel like. But let me just get back home to my base, because it's been so long since we saw it. It's so weird being out here again. It's so bright and peaceful. I've almost forgotten what it's like to be not in dark caves and lava zones. It's nice though, man. See, this, this part of the planet, when you land and start the game, it seems so innocent. It feels like a... A nice, oops, a nice pond, almost, with like a nice tropical vacation beach, 
Like, you would go here for fun, it feels like. If there was, like, a a, a, a hotel on the, uh, the nice floaty island, I feel like people would go there, you know? Just, just as a, a, on a holiday. But then it just, like, gets so... So dark and, and gritty and intimidating and sad at the end with with uh, all the experiments and all the people dying and leaving and quarantine and all that it's a cool like it's a cool turn on the whole thing and it's a cool juxtaposition to the seemingly innocent safe shallows <sighs> anyway I'm back home oh that was a trip and a half Ariel Duckburg hello Oh, Welcome aboard, Captain. Lockhart returneth. Hell yeah. Uh, cool. Oh, it's nice being back home, isn't it? And look, I have... I have Ghostweed, Sea Crown, Bullbush, and and I have Ice, ice Stalks on the other side there. So, all I need is to go over to the Mushroom Forest and get a Fungal Sample. Unless I have it in my organics. Do I? Uh, no, I don't. So I'm gonna go do that, and I'm also gonna go uh, ahead with some of these plans for the- let me see. Some of this stuff. I need- I need to start working on this. So let's- let's get that- let's get cracking on that uh, later on. Unfortunately, most of my materials are still down in- in Ricky Martin. So, <laughs> it's a bit of a pain. Look, it's actually... Oh, that's cool. The... The final... The final area is right straight under where where you start. That's cool. Uh, but for now, I'm actually gonna leave this episode here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm, uh, I'm also gonna turn off some of these pings while I remember, because they're kind of annoying. Blue Bull, we don't need. We don't. We can keep Duckburg. We don't need that. We don't need the big old hole, uh, and we don't need the drone just now. Oh, much cleaner. So uh, there we have it. We know what we need to do. We've spoken to to the big late ghost lady that were that was uh, kept telepathing us in the from the very beginning, and we know a way. To solve our, our woes. But that's gonna have to wait until next time. Wait! I need to put my peeper in my, my tank. <gasps> okay, let's take one of the... Wait. Let's take a Gary fish out. And let's put this shiny peeper in. Let's take a peeper out and put the, And eat that, I guess. And then put that in. He is! Look! He is shiny! Oh yeah! <laughs> Oh, well, that looks kind of weird when you're in a confined space and you can't swim around super quickly, but... <laughs> oh, look at that! It's a shiny peeper in my tank. I'm gonna put these guys in the... or at least him in the... the big one later on. But all of that will have to wait until next time. I'll go up into my restaurant level, have a nice sit down, and say until next time, do take care. Goodbye! <laughs>